She followed you all that way? All the way, yeah. From, from here to all the way to Newton. That man tells us he's the victim of a road rage attack and that a driver followed him 10 miles to a Newton parking lot before stabbing him. WBZ's Beth Germano is live in Newton. Beth, he says he has no, or had rather, no idea that that woman was actually behind him the whole time. Well, it wasn't until he got to this Newton parking lot that he realized the driver meant business. He calls it a crazy incident in which he says the other driver apparently became enraged when he made a bad move on the highway and she wouldn't let it go. It could have been much worse if that hit my body or organs or arteries or any other place. An inch deep wound on the leg of this 32 year old Quincy man after he says a woman stabbed him in a road rage incident that started on the expressway in Dorchester Thursday night. Not wanting to be identified, he says he was heading to soccer practice in Newton when he made a mistake that would be costly. I think I, uh, I got in her lane a little bit. My One of my uh, right wheels on my like, right side of my car got in her lane a little bit and she started beeping and something. He was making his way onto the Mass Pike West and then to Nonantum Road in Newton, at least 10 miles. And he says she followed him all the way, noticing her off and on. When he pulled into the lot at Newton's Daily Field, she did too. You didn't think anything of it at first or did it make you a little nervous that she pulled up behind you? Well, yeah, it did make me a little nervous because it's like, it's not normal. Person following me for, for stuff like that and, and trying to do something to you. Of course it's not normal. He says it's here she pulled out a knife and stabbed him in the leg after spitting on him. A woman he says dressed in sweatpants and a hoodie. He immediately called 911. Did you see her take out the knife? No. It was during that altercation when she pushed me, I guess, and then she just she probably had it in her hand or something and then she just like did it. Like I couldn't know I didn't notice it. But the stinging wound has sidelined him from soccer and his job for a while, and he's still trying to understand how one false move on the highway could end up this way. I just have to learn my lesson, I guess. Just just run away from people like that, I guess. <laughs> Now, as of now, police say no arrest has been made, but they do have cell phone video he managed to capture of the woman and her vehicle as she drove away, and he hopes that helps. Reporting live from Newton, I'm Beth Germano, WBZ News. All right, Beth, thank you.